Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're taking a look at the GBRS Group collaboration with TXC uh, in their X1 Pro holster, I believe it's called. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna break it down. There are no reviews on this on YouTube, like at all, of the, of the GBRS Group specific holster. So I just wanted to come out with that to provide my experience with it and just share my thoughts. Now, I am five foot four, I'm 140 pounds. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I think 6% body fat. Um, so I'm a, I'm a small guy, I'm lean, but that makes concealing a firearm difficult at times. There are worse problems to have than that, um, but I have to kind of work around the gun sometimes. Um, so for me, my 365 concealing that is just a dream. It kind of disappears in my body. But um, a Glock 19 takes some effort and I have to be intentional about it when I carry. This holster for me has worked better than any other holster I have used trying to conceal. And I've used the tier one holsters. I've used T-Rex arms, um, their, their sidecar. So I've used two sidecar styles. And I've also used the Filster Enigma Express with the Glock 19 and they all just don't hide it from me. They don't really hide the gun. And um, if you're actually looking down there you can spot it pretty easily. But a lot of people in my circle are uh, surprisingly not as pro-gun as, as I am. And so not advertising to the world is that I'm carrying a gun is something that's important to me. Um, this holster has done the best job out of anything I've tried. And I'm really impressed with it. I really like it. And I, again, I'm a simp for GBRS and the guys over there, but uh, this holster just kind of, it kind of just does it for me. And so the reason why this holster is so important to me is because I would much rather carry a Glock 19 than my um, smaller SIG P365. I put the pedal to the metal, did a lot of shooting drills, a lot of dynamic movement with both of these guns, and I just perform a lot better with the Glock 19. And it feels a lot more comfortable than the 365. I can make better hits, I can make more consistent hits, I can track the dot because of my 509T that has a pretty big window. Um, and I just, I just like the gun better. So. When I can carry it, when I can get away with that, I'm going to. And with this holster, I just find myself reaching for the 365 less and less, which I'm a fan of. Now, as you might be able to tell, there are some key differences that I've made to this gun um, since my last MR920 video. So I will be updating a video on that shortly here. Um, but this video is about the holster. So it comes featuring a high sweat guard. I'm not the biggest high sweat guard fan, um, but it, it, it doesn't really become problematic until the gun's out of the holster and then you start bending over, which in public, you'll never find yourself doing that probably, hopefully. They've got this really nifty concealment system reducing the need for a claw. And it is called the, I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, so this really makes it press up into your body based on the clip system and you don't need a claw. I like that because sometimes putting in a claw makes it really difficult to wear the gun at, uh, three o'clock, four o'clock, it, it makes it hard to put it in your pants at first and to take it out sometimes. So this gun was kind of, or this holster was made in mind specifically for appendix carry, but also making it a, a, a really solid candidate for three o'clock or four o'clock strong side carry. And I, I like that because because I change up my carry style uh, every now and then. The more versatility for me, the better. It comes with two discrete carry concept clips. Uh, I really like those clips. They're super thin, low profile and they're not gonna add anything to printing factor. And in my opinion, it just has really sleek lines. Like it's just a sexy holster to look at, especially when your gun's in there. Uh, it just looks good. And it's got the GBRS logo on there. So now they only make this holster for full size Glocks and full size SIGs. Uh, so that, that is the downside. But uh, I am able to get away with carrying this with very, very little printing. And so I can get, demonstrate that right now. Cinch it down. And uh, yeah, this is just how it, how it looks. Pretty, pretty good for for a Glock 19 on my on my body. It's it's pretty good. I feel like me carrying a Glock 19 is like even bigger uh, ratio wise than like a six foot two dude carrying a Glock 34. So I used to hate carrying this gun. I used to despise it. But in three o'clock now, I still print a little bit, but it, it it's manageable. It's pretty decent. And this is a medium sized shirt. I'm not having to go size up crazy on my t-shirts, which I really appreciate. Um, I'd highly recommend this holster. I really like it. Go support the guys from GBRS Group. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I just really am obsessed with those guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you later.